Hello, everyone. Um, so mainly this is talking about my appearance in too many games, which is actually really cool. But I just want to update because me and circumstances of getting videos out this is kind of pain in the ass. Um, I actually went to Las Vegas recently, a few weeks ago, to uh, do a convention for my job, and unfortunately, my camera was taken or lost, something to the degree of I no longer had a camera. So I had to save up a bit of money, get myself a replacement. It's a nice replacement. It's a little bit nicer, but in this quality, I can actually do external audio inputs. I'll have to buy another microphone for that, so it's going to be more money. But the point is, is that that's half the reason why I haven't been here. But I've also been working on bigger projects for too many games, among other things. So hopefully, maybe eventually, I'm going to have a better stream of content. I always say that. I never do. But I'm going to try. But it's really hard to do when you have a 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, and it's not really your job. But I still love doing it. I still intend to keep doing it. I just keep hitting road bumps. Also, I found a friend finally. I finally got to meet this lady, and I've, I've been waiting quite a long time. Um, if you don't know, uh, this is the only time I'm gonna have to brag, but uh, I've been waiting to get this game for a very long time. Um, if you don't know, Kyle Flag Squadron is easily the most expensive and rare game on the Sega CD. Um, super, super sought after, and also really, really good shoot 'em up. And uh, that makes me only four away from a complete collection. Um, I wish this was the last game I got, but I could get a good deal on it, so I did. Anyways, enough with the formalities. Um, so, Too Many Games is going to be happening this weekend in Oaks, Pennsylvania at the Oaks Convention Center. The uh, Philadelphia Convention Center? I think it's the Oaks Convention Center. Um, in Oaks, PA, which is about 20 miles north of Philadelphia. And there is just a shit ton of cool people going. Um, GameSack, who I'm excited to meet, uh, Game Chasers, Pat and S Punk, James Ralph, AVGN, um, God, let's go on Team Four Star, Joseph Dragon Ball Z Abridged, uh, brrr, dead, dead. The, the, the list goes on. It's a long list. There's a bunch of bands, Mega Rans playing, uh, oh man, my, my brain's hurting. But there's a lot of people going. It's three days. It's probably one of the best conventions you can go to, not on just the East Coast, but like in the United States for retro gaming. And uh, I had a blast last year, and a lot of the local friends are coming up, so Sprite Lovers, uh, Mr. Fantastic, Grimsy42, although he doesn't need my kind of plug-in shit, <laughs> um, uh, among other, like, local friends or other people that I'm just kind of aware of. But, more importantly, I have not one, but two panels this year. Um, the first panel of the weekend at 2.45 on Friday in panel room 3 is the 16-bit war, same name, different game, which is about 16-bit era games that had the same name but were completely different games on their respective consoles, whatever choices they may be. Um, I'm also doing that with two very cool people that I've met recently through the online webs. Um, Eric, who does Game vs. Game on his channel, and Joe, who does on, has his channel on the stick, where he does same name, different game, among other things like uh, Let's Plays, such and such forth. He's been playing Chrono Trigger for a while. I don't know if he's still doing it, but that's what I've been catching up on. Um, they're doing the panel with me, and just as a sneak peek, this is one of the games I'm talking about. Um, I do have a SNES copy, but I can't find it quick enough to do this video. On the other end of the spectrum, at around 4.50 on Saturday, I will be at the Sega Bits panel, where they're going to be talking about Sonic Extreme and the restoration project after finding the prototype that's been going on for quite a bit this past year, which is actually really, 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 really cool, and you, if you're even, like, remotely into Sonic or into Sega or into, like, any kind of that history of era of the Saturn period, um, you should definitely go check it out for that, but... If you have to be at Too Many Games and you watch this channel, I will also be there with my newest video uh, for Hit Reset for the Sega Bits channel about this little motherfucker right here, Wild Woody. Um, I've been working on this video for quite a while with quite a few surprises, and it's probably the most in-depth thing I've ever done, and regardless of who likes it or doesn't like it, I had a blast doing it, and for like the five people who actually know this game, it's one of the most interesting things I've ever done. Um, certainly... No one else has done something like this with Wild Woody. So I, you know, I got the more corner. It's mine. Market is cornered. Can't talk right. So both of those things are going on. Plus, I'll be there all weekend at the 8-Bit Evolution booth with awesome stuff to sell and also my beautiful self. If you happen to watch us and want to come hang out and say hi. Um, that's about it. I'm still working on parts two of the sports buff, and I've still got like 20 other things that I'm working on, including something completely different, because, you know, why not try some new stuff? Um, but I'll, I'll talk about that more. But as a hint, it has something to do with the video I put out before that was kind of obscure and weird. So anyways, um, that's what's going on. 
Maybe I won't stop having to do these kind of like random like one-shot videos to remind people that I actually exist. Maybe for once things will go smoothly. I hope so for once, but um, I'm looking forward to too many games. Uh, for everybody who still watches, thank you, and uh, hopefully soon normal videos. But definitely after this weekend, if you are too many games, hit reset. Wild Woody will be up on Sega Bits, and then soon after will be the part two festivities for Sega CD Sports games. Till then.